I haven't been uploading lately because of school and stuff. And I was like, oh no, what do I like make a video about? Blah, 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 blah. How do I prepare? And then I, I, I was thinking about it and I realized, wait, why do I have to prepare? This is my channel. I can basically just post whatever I want. And it made me realize that I've been just wasting time. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Hi everyone, my name is Frankie, and today I'm gonna be ranting a little bit about Damien and Wayne. Not because of Damien Wayne himself, but because of how he's characterized by people. And like, I already like had like an idea about it. Like, I already wanted to talk about it. But like recently on Twitter, I saw this really bad take about how Selena Kyle should be uh, Damien Wayne's mother, like his biological mother instead of Talia. And I just wanted to say that's racist as hell. Like that's not okay. Like like y'all be forgetting. And actually what's interesting, a lot of people don't know this. That's how bad it is. But Damien Wayne is not a white child. He's mixed and he grew up in Arabic culture. Okay? So it's like not only do people are basically insisting on whitewashing Damien in like fan works and want it to be canon as well. But there are people that be drawing Damien and treating him as such in a whitewashed manner. And it's really fucked up. Because like how is it that like his culture is a big part of his identity but a lot of people don't even know what that identity is like you know what i'm saying like that's really messed up that's really fucked up and i'm like over here like wondering because like the amount of times i've seen on like ao3 or something it's like damien waynes is actually selena kyle's child and talia that evil bitch she stole her right under her nose to woo bruce or use that against him or some shit like that and it's so stupid and like, I'm like over here, like whenever I see those pics, I just roll my eyes to scroll past them. But I didn't realize how many people even think that. Like that's not only just racist against Damien, but that's also racist against Talia too. Because of the fucking rape retcon. A lot of people don't know this, but originally Talia was not a rapist okay originally her and like batman's relationship was completely completely consensual completely like literally i have the wikipedia page open right now let me go to it it says right here in batman and son let me read this out to y'all the concept of talia and batman having a child from son of the demon is reinterpreted into the continuity in the story batman and son 2006 written by grant morrison trust you will be dealt with period period anyways their son is grown in an artificial womb and named damien he is raised and trained by in the league of assassins talia in introduces him to batman as part of a grand scheme involving ninja man bats in the kidnapping of the british prime minister's wife morrison said he relied on his shaky memories of son of the demon highlight that shaky memories of son of the demon before writing so he messed up a lot of details keep that in mind he messed up a lot of details and one of the such was talia drugging batman before sex and then morris's mistake was later retconned by then batman and robin writer peter j i, I, I don't i don't know how to say his last name i'll just say peter jt in the title robin rises omega where batman admits that he fell in love and followed his heart like you see this shit that was not originally canon and the repercussions of that retcon like fucked up her character a lot in such a racist manner like people use that as an excuse not only to like villainize her more but to like be racist against her and it, it's like really it was really bad and then you got um what else what else what else what else it was on the top of my head uh you got uh oh yeah they said basically uh like dc retconned it right but like they still be putting those jokes like rape jokes in their fucking shit like they didn't pull these books from the shelves and in the fucking animated movies talia she raped him in that universe and i'm like what the fuck they even make a joke about it where like damien's like father cover your drink and i'm like what the hell is this it's not funny it was really bad and it appeared in other continuities too and i'm just like I, I i'm like i'm like appalled like they just let this happen and similar thing 
not with her but like with dick grayson there was a retcon where like they made him a romani that's like an amazing idea a great idea but the writer that did it was racist and because of that they had to not only retcon it but like a lot of people are scared to touch that even though it was a good idea in of itself because of like the racist like this writer i don't even remember who wrote it but like basically they had batman saying slurs to dick and i was like what the hell what the hell anyways moving back onto damien uh stop headcanning selena as his biological mom that is so fucking racist like that should not have been it shouldn't even have to be said you're racing his culture and ethnic identity like that's not okay and it's not, and i've seen it in other works too like i i remember like there was like this short a uh, super sons reboot ish comic series super sons is great by the way but this little reboot thing it like it like like damien was white as hell with brown hair he wanted to be called ian they basically turned him into white kid and i'm just like over here like what the hell is this really disgusting another thing that i wanted to mention is that they, they just be racist against damien in general like they 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 they'd made him a like a suicide bomber and one of the teen titans issues like i cannot make this shit up like either they whitewashed the hell out of him hell and back or they fucking villainized his arabic origins because apparently if you're Arabic, you're automatically a terrorist, which is actually pretty funny because there are plenty of domestic terrorists in this country, but we don't say shit about them. So, ha ha ha. Anyways, man, that was so racist. And I remember, in like, especially in the early days, around the time we was first introduced, they treated him like a monster. It was so weird because I wanted to see where around the time where he was first introduced in comics, and I was like so excited. He like they treated him like he was a monster, like he was this evil demon and like an actual demon child and his mother was a demon as well and it, it's just racist there's no other way to put it it's racist and it's like it's really like i don't know what else to say about it and the fact that there's like th it's usually white people white people like they don't get how it's racist and I think it's like that colonizer syndrome that they got deep inside their brain. It just, that chip just activates because like of right fragility or something. Like that was an exaggeration, but like, like if you'll know what I mean, it's just like, it's just like messed up because the oppressed can sympathize with the oppressor, but the oppressor will not sympathize with the oppressed. That's basically what's happening here. Even though he's a fictional character, racism does not stop in real life. It appears in fiction too. If you like someone's racist, then their racism is gonna appear in their work. Like in Twilight, in the Vampire Diaries, and several other series, your racism's gonna show up because you, like your idea is coming straight from your head. If you're racist as well, then those racist ideas are gonna come out one way or another into your work that's just the way it is and it's i wish we they would i wish i knew like something that we could do to weed out these people but it, but like it's hard when like these people aren't held accountable for their actions and excuses are made for them by higher ups so yeah but one day one day i know that things will get better hopefully but it like i don't know <laughs> I, I was just ranting so like I, I didn't plan out what i wanted to say really i just wanted to get this off of my head because it was really bothering me i think i like i might show the tweet that i made about it earlier like i made two tweets about it but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment and leave like comment your thoughts on this issue. Um, maybe leave a like and maybe even subscribe if you want to see more of me. Bye bye.